Rebel Media recently sent a freedom of information request to the Calgary Police to find out the nitty-gritty details in terms of why this police force recently approved the hijab as part of the official uniform. When we received the info from Calgary Police, there was a line that really stood out as a red flag on page four. Namely, there's a burqa in development for officers and a cadet is already wearing one. A burqa police uniform? Well, a question arises, is the chief confusing the headscarf, that is the hijab, with the full ninja beekeeper costume, that is the burqa? Let's hope so. But on the other hand, don't think our current generation of progressive police chiefs aren't open to the idea of Canadian cops wearing a policing uniform that is emblematic of radical Islam. You see, a few years ago, when the Toronto Police Service approved the hijab for its officers, I contacted the office of Deputy Police Chief Mike Federico, and I asked him if the hijab is fair dinkum in the eyes of police forces across our great dominion, then what about approving the burqa or the niqab as part of the Toronto police uniform? Now, to be honest, folks, this question was really a bit of a joke on my behalf. And the answer I was expecting to receive was along the lines of, oh, come on, Menzies, get serious with your questions or the interview is over. But no, because get this, folks, I was told that the Toronto Police Service is indeed open to the idea of burqa or niqab clad police officers if such reasonable accommodation helps recruit more Muslims. Now, I really wish I was making this up, but Deputy Chief Federico had this to say regarding the burqa and niqab, quote, each request is dealt with on its merits, including compliance with uniform standards and health and safety requirements, end quote. But wait a minute, Federico isn't being consistent here. After all, the reason the hijab is now allowed as part of the Toronto police uniform has little to do with uniform standards and health and safety requirements, Rather, in the deputy chief's own words, the Toronto Police Service takes its uniform cues from, <laughs> you guessed it, the Ontario Human Rights Commission and certain religious leaders. Indeed, when I asked Deputy Chief Federico why female Muslim officers are allowed to wear the hijab, he responded with the following, quote, a request was submitted by a member. The Toronto Police Service explored this request in consultation with the Ontario Human Rights Commission our Muslim Community Consultative Group, the Canadian Council of Imams, and the Muslim Canadian Congress, as well as taking into account uniform standards, end quote. Sorry, but there's nothing in that statement pertaining to health and safety standards. And little wonder, such health and safety standards might be a tad unaccommodating to some people. Furthermore, while certain police forces are actually open to the idea of policewomen wearing burqas or niqabs in the name of cultural diversity, I truly wonder if such a uniform outreach would be for others who would want to embrace their cultural heritage. For example, if Constable Angus MacDonald wanted to wear his full kilt regalia on the job in order to embrace his Scottish roots, would this haberdashery be tolerated? My hunch is Constable McDonald would be reprimanded, sent home, and threatened with termination if he were to ever pull a stunt like that again. Because you see, folks, in the eyes of the progressives, cultural diversity is jolly good when it comes to accommodating the squeaky wheel that is radical Islam, but cultural diversity isn't so good when it comes to accommodating those who are perhaps emblematic of white privilege. Oh, to quote the Wicked Witch of the West, what a world, what a world. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like that, click subscribe below to never miss a Rebel video.